Hold up. I just want to show them to you real quick. So okay. I feel really bad about the last show. I'm glad Mike had a good time because uh, I feel like he almost got blindsided kind of. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we didn't sit down and talk to him at all before the show. Right. And I think he was probably expecting a political discussion. Right. And then all yeah. of a sudden we're like, cocksucker, motherfucker. Fuck this. And then, uh, <laughs> so I apologize. I apologize to you, Mike. I apologize to yeah, you for Mike. that. I won't ram my finger up my nose next time. Right. Try to stick it in your mouth. <laughs> I apologize for that behavior. Hold on, let me see. Wait. Lord, be with the pygmies. Do you have any cookies? No. No cookies. No. Okay, so Steve so will not be eating cookies smacking, tonight. Smacking my lips like a rude, <laughs> rude. So uh, uh, I, di- I did put some show ideas down. I actually took some notes for us. Fuck me. Did you put take any notes? I did. Did you remember any? No. Because you, <laughs> you sure as shit didn't bring well, a, pay, a pad of paper. Let's see. But my, my notes were so, basically about some of the laws that are getting passed right now. You know, once in a while you're, you're watching some program or whatever, and they say something halfway funny, and you, you, know, you jot it down. That's what I did. I didn't really take notes or do any research or... Well, good. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to be educated and informed. And you know, and the we're not here. Really that's not what we're here for. We're here to entertain and yeah. talk shit. Right. And if <laughs> and you know, and this stuff's not really that fucking funny. Now that I look at it, you know, I was reading it before I came over, and I was like, "That's not fucking funny." <laughs> but uh, it was funny when they said it on the TV. I guess maybe if you're famous or whatever. Uh, right. Like if if you, but, you know. actually do stand up comedy as your job, you come off more funny. So, right. <laughs> so, but I thought I would just. Inserted into the show as we went along. Well, let's, you know, yeah, fucking a. Kind of Speaking of inserting it into the show, more fun than a hot lead enema. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say when you came in? More fun than a cactus. Cactus enema. You said cactus enema when you came I've in. Got a, yeah, an anal fixation. It's kind of like don't bring up Uncle Sh, you know. I well, mean, you, that's like four shows in a row. By the it's way. got something going on there, man. I've noticed this. <laughs> this Uncle yeah, Sh. What the fuck is that about? You it's know? nice to know that you have a plef- plethora we're, of we're, enema <laughs> options at your getting, disposal. Yeah, I lobby. Mean, yeah, before the show, we were getting Lyme disease with ticks on our butthole. Yeah, he. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. What the fuck is that? Why not? Because uh, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to because, go where they want to go. They're because they're Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Because Colorado. <laughs> That's the, yeah. yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, welcome to Breakface. Yeah. Fuck. How's your New Year been going? Let right, us know right. in the comments. What? Right. Any big Kahunas yeah. this week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, uh. <laughs> I'd, I was to tell you a joke about a roof, but it'd be over your head. So, but a bum bum. Right. I see. It's Good. not funny. I told you. Good God. So yeah, let us know how your New Year was. Uh, mine was pretty good. Shit. Yeah, I I, I kind of did the old man version. I um, I stayed home and party. <sighs> got pretty lit with some good friends and. You know, then incriminating, incriminating moment, incriminating moment. I uh, launched a barrage of fireworks. I think I saw something on Facebook street. about that. And my neighbor and I just went off. We, yeah, we just lit up the night. It was pretty amazing. Your neighbor was involved. Yes. That's Not always na- good to involve the neighbor so that they right? don't call the cops. Exactly. <laughs> you turn them into an accomplice. <laughs> well, last year, last year we put on a show. It's a brilliant plan. We brought, I don't know, we bought like $300 worth of fireworks. And okay. And we, you know, just the, we didn't do the mortar tubes, which I love because they go, so they're just, boom, those are cool. But we bought like show boxes so they'd have like 15, 18 shots in them. One fuse. And, One fuse, yeah. Just it's, <laughs> it's a show in a box. Oh, it's fucking amazing. So we did that last year, and the whole neighborhood was out here. My neighbor across the street, my next door neighbor, kitty corner neighbor, they were they all came out and were like, "Oh yay!" and cheering because we actually did last year and this year we shot off for each time zone's New Year. So we did East Coast, okay, Pacific uh, Mountain, oh, okay. Central, whatever you know, all the okay. different time zones until oh. we got to ours at midnight, and then that's when we had our big finale. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> so last year we did it. And everybody loved it. Well, this year, you know, we were doing the same thing, 8, 9, 10, 11. And at 11, my neighbor comes out, and he starts letting off a couple shells. And I was like, oh, right on. And then midnight hits, and we we're like, grand finale time, so we just start launching everything. He comes out, and he bought like four or five boxes oh, of boy. the big, you know, shows. And then he also had mortar, so he's launching a mortar every now and again while his box is going off. And um, 
I was like, damn, I'm going to have to step up my game. And he was all, no, no, no. That's why I bought all this shit because of you last year. I was all, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, he's trying to outdo you this so, year. So now oh, okay. I have a feeling oh, so as long as... 2019 is going to be... Yeah, if he stays there, because I think he rents, but whatever. Uh, if he's there next year, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be fucking oh, awesome. There you off the hook. Well, there you go. You could start us like a... A fireworks jar right now. A fireworks time, jar. Every time you... We'll start you know, a GoFundMe. Step on your dick or whatever. Would you guys fund my uh, firework fetish? Yeah. He has a firework fetish, folks. <laughs> I do. Just do it. Just give him money. But, yeah. Just, like every time I play with fireworks, something always... Fuck. Some fucking snafu happens. Uh, I actually released... Yeah, you burn a, one house down and they're pissed I off. I know, right? Oh, I was fucking three. I just Come figured on. out what a lighter did. Get over it. It was 1982, people. <laughs> Shit, stop writing us about it. <laughs> when I was three? <laughs> I was not, yeah, I was six in But you didn't die, did you? But did you die? <laughs> so uh, I posted it on our Instagram. I don't know if you actually look at our Instagram. That you, I probably should give you some admin access to. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sure. But I posted a couple of videos. It was the same finale show, but uh-huh. it was taken like my one friend had her camera and then my niece had her camera. And um, we lit off three show boxes at once. There were two smaller ones and then a big one. And nice. there were three of us out there. So we each lit a fuse and we ran away and we're just watching the show. Nice. All of a sudden, one of the fucking boxes oh, tips tip- over oh, and no. starts launching oh, no. fucking fireworks at the crowd. <laughs> And my niece, oh, she just oh, screams. Lord. And then the way the ca- everybody runs, right? So the yeah, cameras are all like aiming at people's feet. So it's like a fucking wartime video. And there's just lights and explosions <laughs> and screams. Combat oh, footage. It is amazing. Hey, listen, this is America and we freedom hard. We freedom <laughs> so hard. So hard. What else are you going to do in America? Oh. Well, listen, we still build... Guns, liquor, and porn. We build liquor. So this is all the important shit, okay? So Trump's going to bring back all them jobs, right? So we can build <laughs> liquor. That's right. You had me at liquor, obviously. You can tell, right? <laughs> Speaking of liquor, I don't know. I posted this on Instagram, I think, Good too. Good Lord, this is that beautiful. It's my crystal skull full that's, of whiskey. Uh, Thank you, that, Grandma. That's what you call getting skull fucked. <laughs> right here You just saw it live on Brickface The flaming microphone Live I always say live like we're actually live We're not fucking live Does it matter? Uh, no 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 one's watching So That's we can true say, that, There's a very good point Why go live when nobody's actually We can say whatever there? we want to say So there you go So like, What if we were live? We can say whatever we want to say when we're live too What are, what are they going to do? You know they, they can say whatever they want to say too Please leave us a comment Yeah, yeah leave a comment you know, Right uh, Let us know what a shitty job we're doing, and we'll tell you thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we strive for X. We don't. Right. <laughs> okay, so back to you. You had some show ideas. What, 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 what's going Let's on? Let's see. Did I finish New Year's? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think your, I did. Your, your fireworks story. And okay. in scene. And okay. We, it, so I just, uh, the last week, I know it's all over media already, and I'm sure everybody's probably already heard about it or seen it or watched it on the television. But all these laws that are getting passed, and I don't know, we'll throw out a couple states. California and Oregon. They're pumping their own gas in Oregon. That is actually number one on my list is like these people <laughs> losing their fucking mind over the fact that they have to pump their own gas. Yeah, a lot of them are putting the green gas because, you know, they're, they're, they're very eco-friendly. That. I saw that. Yeah. And when you, you, go when you get the green pump, <laughs> <laughs> it helps the environment, you see. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you're living in Oregon, get the green pump when you pull up. Yeah, the green one, because yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. earth friendly yes. and your car will run right. so much cleaner. No and better. drilling rigs were harmed in the making of that pump. So, so. yeah, I've got it pulled up behind me here. Al, Al Gore uh, approved. Al Gore approved. <laughs> I was going through some of these like comments and shit that people were doing. I don't. Okay. Oh my god. What'd they say? Just like one lady is all upset. Uh, you barbecued a dog. I'm supposed to leave my children alone in the car while I'm out here pumping gas, and there's transients everywhere, and I might get mugged or murdered. And <laughs> they'll kidnap my kids. It, I'm just like, Whoa. the mean streets of what Medford, Oregon. Fuck? There's some guy that said he was a lifelong Oregonian, and he was in his. 
60s, uh-huh. never pumped the gas himself, apparently, ever in his life. Seriously. Which blows me away. Wow. And yeah, he lost his mind. It's just and, everybody losing their mind over he this. he owns an automobile and he's never pumped gas. Like... I, <laughs> I, I, I can't even know. imagine. How do you fill your fucking lawn mowers? I mean, I, I mean, I'm oh, we like, don't, we don't mow our lawns. <laughs> no, no, no. We have somebody to do that for yeah. us. Pedro, could you please put five right. <laughs> liters of Her Majesty's Petro? And then somebody else said something about, oh, well, you know, if we have to start pumping our own gas, all those guys are going to lose their jobs, and then they won't have jobs. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And then I'm like, wait. Are you the same bitch that said, oh, I don't want to pump my own gas because some transient's going to kill me, but it's okay for Pedro, as you so... In- <laughs> was that <laughs> racist? That was pretty... I'm pretty sure that, that was, was pretty, racist. pretty, pretty... Uh, uh, anyway, and, so and, Pedro, and, and, he, it's, a, it's okay for him to stand out there and, you know, fucking uh, take the barrage that would right. have otherwise happened to you. It just seems like a bunch of spoiled ass fucking babies. You've never pumped your own gas. Well, you know... D- Society, anytime anything changes like that, you know, there's an uproar. There are those people that don't embrace change well, you know, typically. They're, you know, just uh, the product of a a pitcher of margaritas and a gas station condom. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) You heard it here. Oregon is nothing... (laughs) <laughs> but a bunch of margaritas and <laughs> empty condoms. Wait, what did you say? I didn't even hear it. Fuck, I don't even know. I'll play it back. You were the, the product of a pitcher of margaritas, margaritas and a gas station condom. And a gas station condom. Oh. <laughs> just when I thought I was bad. You uh-huh. just, just a whole <laughs> nother level. Just, <laughs> not just, just, just taking that shit up. <laughs> a reek of loneliness uh, and failure. Oh, my God. <sighs> Plan B pills. So, uh, so, th- so there's that right going on in uh-huh, Oregon, right? So, and this is the other part of my notes. And then I guarantee, uh, folks, after this, I'm out of notes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, excuse me. You're, bear with me. You're excused. So we got this California, a lovely, lovely state, passed a bunch of laws. New California laws recreational to recreational marijuana now in 2018. I know, right? Hey, well, finally they're catching up. Let's do this. Let's do this. As if this, <laughs> this is for the marijuana law in California. You want to give him a round of applause for finally? Yeah, sure, sure, here, sure, we go, sure. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Catch it up. There you go. Buddy. All right. All right. All right. California. The most liberal state in the union, and I'm surprised they just now legalized marijuana. Isn't everything else legal and there? You know what? As 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 if it's or slowed, illegal. As if it slowed any of you down. Am I right, my Cali brothers? I mean, damn, y'all some stony motherfuckers. I've been in the Emerald Triangle, man. You ain't fucking with me. I know that shit. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been down that way in Eureka and Humboldt County? Good Lord. No, sir. No, sir. They got some various marijuana. I've heard of Humboldt <laughs> County. Humboldt, Humboldt County. Humboldt. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh. We used to walk. It's like the, the Matt Nuska Thunderfuck of California. We used to walk the mean streets of Santa Cruz, California, and they have this outdoor uh, carnival. It's year round, every day. That's and pretty badass. You just people walk past you and say little words like buds, acid, <laughs> just all coke. quiet, like you know, on the sly and shit. Right, they just kind of shit, you know, and you're just like, yeah, I happen to be looking for some buds, you know, and you happen <laughs> to have a, tra- a financial transaction. What a lucky <laughs> coincidence that you just happen to walk by. And uh, they, you know, they... Too bad you weren't going, acid, acid, in my head, you know. They, oh, oh you have that it, too. So, oh, they did. We had stories. Ooh. We got <laughs> stories. Those were the 80s. Am I right? You guys remember the 80s? Well, now, see, oh, I, feel, I feel the youth is getting let down because they're not going to get those stories now because now they can just go to a dispensary or oh. have their, their, their 21-year-old buyer do and it. take all the fun out of it. Next thing you know, you're at a Motley Crue concert in the middle of... You know, Candlestick Park. <laughs> Having know, Tommy Lee's baby. <laughs> Losing your virginity to Mick Mars. <laughs> His weird old sperm baby. <laughs> so, so some of the laws that California passed. Um, okay. I'm just going to kind of go down the list. We'll pick right. and choose. Uh, immigration, I guess. Police will no longer be able to ask about immigration status or parts of the yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, it was among numerous bills designed to thwart the policies of Donald Trump's administration. California became a sanctuary state. Yeah, that's... Uh, let's see. 
Also, starting Monday, immigration officials will need a warrant to access workplaces or employee records, and landlords will be barred from disclosing tenant citizenship. Wow. Yeah. So the, the sanctuary state thing, it's just like uh-huh. they just the tendrils it's, have been, you know, uh, spread. La resistance. <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, her. The resistance continues. Let's see. Uh, they I don't see sit in their safe space, it? scrawling resist on a cardboard. <laughs> Cut out. Uh, so. This one doesn't mention. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Actions under law making California a sanctuary state. And then then, then everything after that listed is uh, basically you can't ask somebody what their status is. You right. can't the do police, this. The police can't. ICE agents, however, can, and they are not going anywhere. And if I know Trump, he'll send extra ICE agents to California. Probably. I don't so, know. It's just a, a... Hang 10, bro. <laughs> Story at five. It's a massive... <laughs> it's not over yet. Massive defiance from California about yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, but... And if, and I know we talked about Hollywood a little bit already, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we yeah, may yeah. have to touch on that some later. Because what the fuck, man? You're turning what, into Harvey Weinstein. Is that who's in their mean? fucking minds? Oh yeah, me. I've got clout. <laughs> Young girls want to see me. Uh, so uh, cannabis, we talked about that kind of. They uh, they legalized okay. that. Yes, they did. You know, I heard Increased that their uh, minimum wage. There's some. I'm trying to. Get I heard that uh, the city of Denver, the city council now has uh, legalized. Uh, defecation and urination in, 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 in the city limits now and the town fathers are considering renaming the city the Pile High City. <laughs> <laughs> I need a rim shot like button for you, don't I? But a dum dum I just need a we need a sound effects board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, some fucking laser sound and some fucking yeah. pew pew pew. Da-da-dum-dum. Some fucking cheering. Oh, you yes. are. You're, 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 that was good though. The fuck. Oh man. So did I mention that I missed you? It's a great show. So <laughs> a fine, fine day, you know. Oh my god. So another some of. the <laughs> How do we get this finished so we can just fucking bullshit? Okay, then we need, we need to just talk. Okay, uh, some more laws. One of the change. ones that, yeah, one of the ones that really kind of, kind of grabbed me a little bit was the education laws that they've gotten passed. Uh, first year of community college free. Yada da da da. Uh, Public uh, schools must test uh, yearly for lead in their uh, water. Good, that's good. Uh, students in grades seven through twelve must be taught about sexual abuse and human trafficking prevention. Probably a good idea. Uh, right. You can no longer don't get in the van with that dude. <laughs> the schools can no longer lunch shame uh, children uh, how, how um, you... that can't afford meals, so they get the assistant meals. Um, how do you lunch shame somebody? What you, I, I must have missed that. Because... Basically, you know, there's when I was growing up, I w- we were on the I was on lunch tickets, so my mom or the school gave us an allowance because we were of low income. And it's I got like lunch pulling tickets. out so your they're food basically saying you, they, the in employees. the supermarket, and that's food shaming you? Food stamps? Yeah, food stamps. Or no, if you had to pull out a different p- way of paying for it, is that what you're saying? Right. The, 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 the poor kids, basically. <sighs> Schools will be prohibited from lunch shaming or publicly denying lunch to students or providing a snack instead because their parents haven't paid meal fees. It's a little bit different than what I was talking about, but like uh, same thing. Uh, oh, this kid, look at him. He gets the free meal ticket. Blah, you know, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are ruthless, man. They They're fucking ruthless. terrible. Golly. They're fucking terrible. I had to beat up two bullies in my life. Kids and are, they, they, yeah, they're fucking they're they annoying. No filter whatsoever. They zero political correctness, which is really just tyranny with manners. That's what political correctness. Yeah, or um, I don't know. It's the opposite. Instead of they're the, not PC, they're totally PC, and they're social justice this, blah, blah, blah. Social justice warriors. Yeah, snowflakes yeah. or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Uh, progressive. What do you want to call them? Progress, they're progressive liberals. All right. They're the ones that are always out there in the pink hats. Political or line in the sand, people. They got, you know, blood blood on their jeans and, you know, whatever, screaming about. They'll scream at the NRA to, you know, with the signs that says, stop killing our kids. And then they turn around and go to a protest about abortion, you know, to keep it legal. It's a mental disorder. So, anyway, there you go. <laughs> I said it. Now we'll be blocked by every uh, liberal. 
All right. No, well, I just think that the Democratic Party has been hijacked by, you know, the whole Antifa and Black Lives Matter and the pink hat wearing ladies and, you know, extreme feminist and, you know, I don't think not is <laughs> a giant <laughs> cunt. So <laughs> I've been around the world and I've seen a lot of cunts, but fuck me, look at you. Nothing on anyone's head, though. Like, <laughs> you could lose your keys in. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this might go kind of like the the last law. I probably am going to talk about okay because I've already bored myself with it. But uh, they're going to be now including the history history of LGBTQ whatever com- people in the world, uh-huh. and uh, they're going to be teaching it to our elementary school kids during like their sexual education period. Oh, so Caligula to second graders. Pretty I much. love it, right? Hey. And I was watching so. this. Uh, <laughs> this. Um, you see your seven-year-old, Daddy? What's fisting? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck! If I was a yeah, n- n- I don't think they're doing it like that. God, dang, sexual just, history of the LGBT community. Wrong. So this guy wrote a book, and they're actually going to teach it in their curriculum. And he was talking about historical figures in American history. We're talking like revolutionary oh, era. Oh, great! And uncle, they're saying, great you know, uncle. Well, sh- he never got married, and he never had kids. And well, he must have been. He a might have pirate. been gay. He must so that's have been. how they're going to teach history now. Must so this guy in history, nobody yeah. was confirmed. It's not confirmed. <laughs> he may have been gay. Meh, we don't he know. He might have had a tiny cock. He might have been not functional. And he may not have been interested. Or he may have been slaying ass and just not letting everybody know. That's true. You he know? might have kept a private life out of the tabloids. So I just thought that was crazy. You didn't teach that shit to elementary school children. I mean, you, and once again, it's like, you, you know, be you. Go do your thing, whatever it may be. I don't really give a shit. It doesn't affect me, honestly. Get except for by the, the fact, biggest cock in the world and we could care less. Yes. <laughs> but honestly, it's getting shoved. It gets shoved at you yes, everywhere on exactly. TV. That's the problem. Fucking, it just gets shoved at you. It's like we it, don't care how many cocks you. Yeah, suck. we get it. You're proud. Fuck. We don't care. Yeah. I guess maybe I'm a little upset about the whole thing just because as want- a non-racist, non, you know, I don't well, fucking just, hate anyone. You, I'm a white dude, but I can't say I'm a fucking white dude and be proud of it. Look, but I can get all this other shit shoved in my face all the time. Here's the way I feel about it. I'm a veteran. I serve for your freedom. You, are you free to love whoever you want. And by that same freedom, I'm free to disagree with that lifestyle choice. Exactly. And both should be accepted. That's what we fought for. Both. Even though I disagree, it doesn't matter. What where conservatives get upset is when the that lifestyle choice is crammed down our throat. That's what we don't care for, you know. So, and that's exactly it. That's exactly it. You You know, know, I mean, and then I get you know they got to fight for their rights. They got to do what they got to do. But well, I don't see how fighting for your civil liberties involves just. Wait a minute. When you say fight for rights, well, they're they're covered by the U.S. Constitution. Just like there is no special rights for anybody. Then then there's civil liberties, not their rights. rights. There's civil liberties. Well, like you know, for the the, like like marriage. Well, that's not a right. That's you know you. That's you know, the government shouldn't be even in marriage for one. I was going to say, isn't marriage a a bond between two people in the eyes of God? You right. That's how it all started. the, The. well, it's the old story about St. Valentine. He was marrying people, and the church told him not to do it, and he mm-hmm. did it anyway, and they killed him for it, and that's what got him to... Sainthood? Yes. Well, that Fucking was, sucks that was, how you have to die to be his... <laughs> God that, damn it. That was a giant step forward in that process. <laughs> yeah, <all> right? <laughs> so, if only it were that yeah, easy nowadays. Yeah, no, he's qualified. But, you know, I just feel like if you, know, you already have a license, you, you, I'm buying a license from the government for something I already have permission to do. Which is, I have the permission to fall in love with whomever I want to love, be it who, whatever. So why? And do then I you need, have the right to marry them. Why do person? I need their permission? So you can love them and you can no, marry them. I don't need your permission or your license, you know. And I, I don't know. I guess maybe in the old days it started to keep cousins from marrying each other. So there was this blood test to make sure you weren't related, because that stuff went on. Doc were, Holiday loved I his cousin. I don't think there were blood Hitler. tests back then, though. <laughs> I don't know. Simple blood test. It was in the like, eighteen. All right, we're going to put you in this tub of water, and then we're going to yeah. cover you with rocks. And if you sink, you're yeah. a cousin fucker. Yeah, right. We're going to oh, yeah. oh, another one. There's another Catch you on fucker. fire, and if you survive the fire, I guess you're you're not a witch. So yeah, witch <laughs> trials, marriage. <laughs> uh, anyway, we just 
point is, we just don't care if you're gay. Quit, you know. I just like, don't want it. It's I mean, like then, the the marijuana yeah. thing. It's like stop. I look at me smoking a joint. So what? You know, you know, you don't see people with, at five o'clock after work with a margarita going. Look at me, I have a margarita. No, they're just sitting well, in their living room. No big deal. Should you don't want to do on. that because you'll spill the margarita. Exactly. That's but fucking you know, we, well, you know what I'm saying. To, in order to get taken seriously, you know, and just you know, let it. Let it go. It, it's legal now, and it's no big deal, and nobody cares anymore. And it's, you know, I feel yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that's it too. When when is it going to be, not so just like right. all in my face all the fucking time? I knew in mainstream America it was no big deal anymore when Bill Clinton pretty much on the campaign trail admitted to smoking weed. I mean, they had the whole inhale thing, blah blah blah. But he pretty much inhaled. Oh God, that's weed. right. I forgot and, all about and that. Still got elected, and I knew right then. The mainstream America, people don't care about that stuff. You know, it's, if you toked a little bit in the 70s, 80s, or whatever, who... Oh, I forgot about that. I, I no. did not have sexual relations with that woman. And then, I did not inhale. I forgot <laughs> that was like two like priceless like lines you can use pretty much forever in America because people you understand never know And the they cam- both came from that you douche You never hole. know and on the campaign trail. I mean... Howard Dean was the front runner, and then he said this famous "Yeah," and it, it, that was it. Remember that? <laughs> that that was, was that was done. Great. He was done. Oh, we should almost find that video. One and done. Oh, Howard Dean. Howard uh, Dean. All yeah. right. So, <laughs> quotes from the quotes from the campaign trail. What the hell is that a thing? I don't know. Let's that see. was Howard good. Dean. You said. Uh, yeah. Because oh my god, that shit cracked me up. I thought, hey, that that guy's yeah. collectible. Yeah. Howard Dean. Yeah. New Jamie, where are you? We New Jamie has it. actually abandoned us because... Damn it. Uh, New Jamie's mom is here. Oh, we, she pulled the mom card. So she, I hate that. I guess that would be... Uh, what is Joe Rogan's other... There's two people behind the scenes. Of Joe, it's probably a fuck ton of people behind the scenes for Joe Rogan. I guess that guy <laughs> podcasts like almost all day long. He just... Well, does pod, he, he'll does have he a really? Guy, yeah, he'll schedule that shit out. He'll have a dude come in. They talk for two hours. Okay, cool. Take a break. Have another fucking dude come in. He, yeah, it's just he. That's what he does. And then he goes on tour. I follow him on uh, Instagram. <clears throat> I didn't realize he was that. And I knew he had a pot. I, anyway, the I, scream that doomed him. Oh, that audio is not going to come through though. Here it comes. <laughs> and the press crucified him. Yeah. I can't, I can't get enough of that shit. Oh my god! Really? Uh, how yep. did the, how he was just excited? He was the front runner up until that. Yeah, I know. I know. How did that fuck him so bad? It was so funny. I think the liberal Ooh. press. He wasn't their favorite. His is like the you know the uh, the, the, the <laughs> rigging of the election in twenty. You know the against Bernie Sanders. Bernie, my man, you hang in there, my brother. <laughs> you little socialist, right. communist little fucker. What if he? Oh, I'll what if they him. ever get the fucking nomination again, Bernie? Well, oh. I I think Trump will stump. Trump will stump in twenty twenty. Wow, Trump you should thump. fucking copyright that shit and send it to his campaign. Trump will thump. I need it. Oh. Look at you. Look at you. Got manners and shit. He has manners and shit. So while he's, he's taking care of a nasal malfunction, I'm going to play the... Oh, it's not. You can't hear it. I didn't inhale, and I never tried it again. Let's re- I'm going to try and replay that, see if we can get some... See, now right away, everybody knew that was bullshit, that he, he did you, inhale, and he did like it. How do you not like it, you fucking liar? 
<laughs> everyone knew. Well, everyone knew he's lying. I just. Are, you need one of these? Uh, not yet. No. Okay. Yet, okay. Yet. Gotcha. Anyway, everyone knew, and it, I just. It, it was no big deal. And at that point, mainstream, because I grew up in, in, you know, my father was a federal lawman. And there were lawmen around all the time. You know, that's wow. my, my father's friends were cops and state troopers and de- sheriffs and Texas Rangers. And two of the men killed at Waco where my, fa- my father had worked with, you know, ATF no agents. Shit. Yeah. So wow. The, uh, the uh, Pablo Escobar, you know who he was? Like the biggest drug dealer of all time? Pablo Escobar. Yeah. You know, anyway. Pablo. No, it doesn't ring a bell. He worked on that case. His name is Show. Yeah. There's a show about him, Narcos. On Netflix, they're looking for his money. I know that. There's a couple of uh, one ex CIA agent and somebody else, some other hotshot dude. <laughs> they're down in Colombia and with ground pinning trading radar and Pablo's right hand man. And um, you know they they have a show. They're looking for the money because they, they you know there's very very little of hundreds of millions of dollars was ever found of Pablo's money. So mm. it was going somewhere. <laughs> so all I need is a ground penetrating radar and a little bit of time, and we we might be rich. Permission to dig. <laughs> Permission to dig. Fuck that. They, they <laughs> well, they there was been a couple. I watched the show Robert a couple a episodes, and they there was one place uh, near. Sorry, his hideout. I guess there was an open pot of land that they they knew they had to been some at least some bodies buried there. But um, yeah, they were going to dig, and they so they showed up at night and. Just, you know, started to get started, but sure enough, the landowner popped right over there, and um, you know they're in the middle of Medellin cartel country, whatever. You yeah, know, in Colombia, and so the landowner quickly said, "Put the kibosh on that." Diggy. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no diggy here. No <laughs> diggy here. <laughs> so <laughs> no speak of the diggy. So <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. Yeah. You might. Uh, that's the old can of worms. You probably don't want to open up down in there. You know. Oh, fuck so, no. So. But uh, you know, I, I, I mean, if if you find it, you know, you're on TV, and the you know, the Colombian government was obviously is given permission to these guys to look, um, you know, and I'm sure they w- would want to cut uh, or all of it or whatever. Are you, you know? trying to say that the Colombian gro- government uh, is corrupt? No. <laughs> You heard it here, folks. The answer is no. No. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Uh-uh. <laughs> you have to be good. I just, I was going, the answer is no. As I was nodding yes, and I went on the second no, I like, my head jerked over to the side like, hey. I'd be a bad liar. You don't even need a lie detector. You just need someone with lie detector skills like Liam Neeson and shit. Yeah. That was terrible. I could fool you, officer. Don't ever tell me anything incriminating about yourself because I'll be like, no, he did. Yeah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this be all over the fucking nope. place. Nobody robbed a bank here. I'm not a rat. I'm just retarded. Oh, <laughs> said retarded. Sorry. No offense to anyone that has a political correct mental illness. Blah, are blah, you blah. Are mentally ill, I think. I think I, I think. have a mental illness. Dude, mental Does multiple Ill- sclerosis count as a mental illness? Because it is, in fact, know. eating my brain. Uh, so is that skull yeah, with this skull i'm this is my choice the, mul- <laughs> yeah, the other thing oh that's it there's my defense you heard it here first what? anything i say cannot be held against me because my body is eating my own brain i don't know if that is a legal defense or not whatever ms is stupid i don't know if it's a uh it's not no there's no, no? way no it, 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 it no no okay it's eating away at the nerve sheaths in my body so they say. Anyway, don't want to get serious. We're going to bring it back. Bring it back to mellow caramel voice time. <laughs> I don't want to talk right. about my shit, man. All right, Rick James. I want to talk about... We're going to get down in the groove with you, my brother. I want to talk about black candy. I don't want to talk... What? Licorice? <laughs> I, want to, I want to talk about licorice. I want to talk about that yeah. stripper called black mm. candy. Mm. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. <laughs> oh no! I think it's uh, drunk time on breakfast. That's <laughs> drunk time. Excellent! Wow! 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 Another sound effects moment. That would be we do, dude. I'm telling you, sound effects board. There How we much go. do they cost? Little, you want me to look it up on Amazon right now? Little little widget. We're, yeah, you could easily get a fucking. There's apps with little How sound you, things. You get a Gerard m- Butler. What is that little machine even? Called, so I wouldn't even know how to punch that up on the computer to, you know, uh, the sound effects board. 
I wouldn't even know what it's called. And you just said the exact. Is that what it is? Yeah, is that what it is? Effect. Yeah, sound effect. Oh, sound effect well, board. Dude, everything these days has all, <laughs> all these cute little names. Like I'm calling about weed the other day, and all these little mountain spike ninja. Oh my god, I can't type. Spiky tire blue cheese. What the and fuck? Moon spiky <laughs> tire blue cheese. <laughs> moon rock ozone. You know, and I'm just like, it's fucking weed, dude. We're going to do virtual because it, now it wants to buy it. It used to be three to six in the county. That's what we called it. La, la, la. So. Uh, no, keep talking. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm working on something. I was hooking up with, with sound. We were playing these clips for people and they couldn't hear them. And I'm like, oh, it could be a new town. But. No, we I, got, I have a way around that. So. There's probably an app for these noisemaker things. That's what I just looked up, virtual sound effects right. boards. Because I remember, shit, back in the day uh, <laughs> when I used to do the radio show with my buddy Mosh Pit. Hey, Mosh Pit! That's some old shit. Yeah, dude. KRUA 88.1 here in Alaska. It's the college radio station. We had a show, fucking Mosh Pit's Darkest Hours with Titty and Mosh Pit. It was fucking amazing. We had a great time. All right. We had little... Little sound effects on this board. They had a big ass board, though. See, you've done it before. Well, you yeah, but whilst doing that, we also had little virtual ones that we could. You hit okay. a button. If you like, you can look them up, like Homer Simpson, and you'll have all these Homer Simpson quotes, and uh, you could do fart machines. <laughs> I think I said Gerard <laughs> Butler earlier because I was thinking this is smart. <laughs> he does that shit. Fart and, machine while chewing vomit flavored bubble gum. Yes. See all the now. I'm looking at virtual sound effects board on here and it's basically bringing up you know how djs now remember back in the day they used to spin the wax yep you know and now djs do this they basically stand there with one fucking ear off their headphone like this for the people that can't see me because they don't want to tune into our youtube channel like and subscribe um they put one earphone off and they're just basically bopping around like oh yeah look at me go and they're just pushing this thing with all these colored buttons on it that's how they play in music and every once in a while, they'll flip a switch over here. And they, How do you DJ with your hands in the fucking air all the time? I don't know. So anyway, that's what this Google search has showed me. It's not showing me like, oh, here we go. <sighs> so your hands in the air I and dance it. like you just don't care. Right, but how are you supposed to do that when you're the DJ playing me music? I don't know. Nobody uses records anymore. Put the needle on the record. Put the needle on oh, the record. Oh, my God. <laughs> Put the needle on the record. Put the needle on the record. And the sound just the goes for a go like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Who is that? Ah. Uh, salt and pepper? Or... Oh, I don't know. It's, it's been, that's been a long that's time That's some old ago. school shit right yeah. there. Yeah. Hold yeah, on. It's going way back. If only we had this database. I'm going to just look <laughs> up needle on the record. California. Pump up the, the volume, city. dude. It's pump up the volume. City of Compton. In the city. All right, so if this is super loud, I apologize. Okay. We... Oh, it's an ad. Listen to this <laughs> ad. Oh, my goodness. Blah. Skip oh, ad no. in five, oh, four, I can't. three, yeah. two, one. You can't skip them. You can't skip that ad? Not this no, one. Some we can one. mute that shit, though. Fuck your ad. If I wanted to buy your product, I would go to the <laughs> store and buy it. <laughs> uh, quit pestering me with your fucking ad. I can't even look something up these days without seeing some ad from your goddamn. Oh my Damn. fuck! There it is. Right? There it is, baby. Dun, dun, there dun, it dun, is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god! Now we got the jam going on now. <laughs> Pump up the volume. Now see, we can have a green screen with some go-go dancers back here while we're talking. Right. Who the fuck would want to watch that? Well, would we have music playing while the go-go dancers were on the I'm green screen? Slightly in the background. Yes. Might be a copyright infraction, so oh. we make no money. Oh. Well, okay, then we we won't <laughs> we won't have music. We'll have. I'm not real worried about because we don't make any fucking money anyway. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait! I didn't even get wait, to talk wait, about wait. earlier. What if the radio, the public radio, was playing in the background while we were doing the show, and the go-go dancers on the green screen while we were doing the show? Some Do we still get sued? I don't know. Yes. I mean, the radio waves that's out there. What's this public property then? I wonder, is this even coming through? Hold on. I oh, think yeah, it'll, it be, it'll be there. It'll be, I, I think it be is. a little quiet there. I think it is. So, people, you know, people will rec instantly recognize the song, you know. 
So why? Because they were born as long ago as we were. I, you know, I remember. <laughs> I remember. The, I actually remember the day all that started. I came to school one day. It's kind of nice to have a little bit of tunes in the when, background. Though, it isn't is. It? it is. That's a great song. Okay, Wait, jam. We got to get to the needle on the record part. <laughs> Put the needle on the record. <laughs> and the drum beat go like this. So <laughs> I came to school one day and Run DMC had remade Aerosmith's Walk This Way. Oh, yeah. And I, at my yeah, first that's another knee good jerk, because I, I, hey, I'm, I'm an old school, you know, jam with Aerosmith from way back in the 70s. I've seen them live in in California. And anyway, fuck yeah. And, and, and my knee jerk reaction was, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Did you say it like that? <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell, hell no. no. Like I was from Compton or something. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I rode the train over here. So, <laughs> from Boston. <laughs> Straight out of Boston. <laughs> oh. Southie, man. It's Southie. Southie? Oh, yeah. right, so right. So, anyway, yeah, it, but it it uh, it changed the world. I mean, hip-hop was born. It just, I remember the birth of another, you know, American flavor of music. You know? There it was. <laughs> hip-hop. Hip hop, yeah, I remember. You remember that day? I mean, remember the day, the first day of MTV? Do you remember that? I mean, I don't know if you, how old you are, but I, but I remember the very first day of MTV. I honestly, yeah. I remember parts of it, be only because I've seen it since then. But I don't remember. I, I don't think I. No, I didn't have cable, yeah. So I didn't no. see the yeah. first day. Yeah. Um, no, when I, yeah, I didn't have cable for the yeah. longest time. Yeah. I actually, you lived the other side of the tracks, didn't you? I did. Poor fucker. I know. I was. I still am. You're deprived. Yeah. Damn it. I don't know about deprived, but... Damaged. Here we go. Oh, shit. We got two things going on at once here. Let me pause one of these. I wanted to get to the needle on the record part, but then you had this. You started talking about this. One, two, three, five. <laughs> Run DMC. Yeah. Ah. No, I remember when hip-hop first came out, it was, it was pretty legit because it was like you had these cool beats and they were telling little stories. You listen to hip hop from back in the day, and then you listen to the shit that's on going on now, and all it is is money and bitches, bitches kill, and money. Kill all the cops. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a kill the cops. Oh, and and, and my, my my nigga this, my nigga that, everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, he he did not use the hard R, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know if they, I, it is an offensive term, and I get it. It's not, I'm just not a politically correct person. And of course, I you know don't mean any racist term, but racism exists in, within all races. It just it just exists. It was you know it's, I hate it, way it, more it, white people than I think. Any, if, there, if there were other, ra- I don't even hate any other race, like any well, like, any person in what, particular of any other color, but white. I hate white so, people. What's so silly about <laughs> it though is like all the people I hate are white people. I don't you, hate white people. You know your your dad. Yeah. You're, you're white. Your mom. Your mom was white. Your dad was white. Super what did, white. What did Look you, at me, dude. Like, so what did you have to do with two, those two white people having sex back in 1975 or whatever? You know, What did you have to do with Thank that? Thank God nothing. You had fucking nothing. <laughs> See, that's what the thing is. It's like to hate somebody for they had something they had absolutely nothing to do with is ridiculous. Or to say that all people of a particular faith or color or whatever or this particular way is stupid. It know? really is. So, it really is. Um, <clears throat> you... You you cannot be so close minded to meet one person and assume that every person is like that one but, person. But, it's, but you can't have it both ways. You can't you know be offended by the n word and then have it in every other sentence in your songs. You know you, you can't use it yourself and then not have other people use it or whatever. You know it's. I agree. It's a term. It's how, out there. How it's, else am I supposed to sing along? Honestly, <laughs> you know it's uh it, it, it's. Fucking it's somehow, Jay-Z. It's yeah. somehow accepted among some people and, and offensive to others, and I'm going, no. It's either offensive or it's accepted. One of the two, you know. You know it, yeah. You know, so. I figure, I figure it's just speech. Who, I mean, it's just who cares? Exactly. Big deal. And to me, it's like if you want to call me. Cracker. Whatever, whatever oh, well. offensive white dude name. Oh, you well. can think, I really <laughs> don't fucking care. You can nope. call me a cracker. You can call me a honky. Uh Nope. What is? Don't care. You call me shit in different languages. Don't care. Gringo or gajin or whatever. You know, call me whatever. <laughs> I don't really fucking care because, yeah, I was born white. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, and it, uh, and then I guess what pisses well, me off had, about the whole thing too is like white privilege. 
there ain't no white privilege. There ain't I no was such not thing. fucking there ain't privilege. No, there ain't no fucking such thing. Not at I all. I checked my bank account for it today, and folks, there was no privilege in there. There was no privilege tax at all on my paycheck or anything either. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, fuck, dude. I was not privileged at all. I, I grew up pretty fucking poor, and I did not have... We- we were good until my parents split up, and then we got poor. When I went with my mom, and we I remember some tough, tough, you know, sixth, seventh grade, and moving around, and no food in the cabinets. And then one day, you know, we three years had gone by, and I'd gone to a different school each year, and, mm-hmm. you know, and we was the first day of school. Oh, I love, I love the school hopping. And I just said no. I, I, you know, it's eighth grade, and I was old enough to stand up to my mom, and I just said no. Take me to my dad's, and we. Mm-hmm. It was a long ride from Rio Dosa, New Mexico, back to, you know, uh, shithole Texas. But um, it it was a long, quiet. Put ride a pin in that shithole with, with, Texas with some John Connolly playing the rose colored <laughs> glasses. And anyway, uh, it it um, <laughs> and and but then it was you know back with dad, and you know dad had a good job, and was stable, and you know and uh, things were. And then, you know, in the end, it was just me and, me and him, and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, all through my high school years. So it was, we were kind of kept in touch with a chalkboard. He would be, you know, he had two jobs, and, went, you know, and I had two jobs and went to high school. And, and we by were, then, you're, you're more independent than you oh, were. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. You lived with your I, mom, so. Oh, yeah. yeah I, had, I bought my own school clothes and, and all he's, that he's stuff. And he's a dude, yeah. so he's like, independence, he, I get he, it. He, <laughs> yeah, well, I never saw him. He, he didn't see me. He had two jobs, you know, he worked, you know. Uh, as a federal lawman in undercover narcotics and smuggling, anti-smuggling, that's what he he had. He, that's what he done for twenty nine years. And anyway, that sounds dangerous as fuck. Oh fuck yeah, he's got some stories. I'll he bet. has some fucking hairy ass stories. He flies ass up here. Well, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> he died twenty fifteen. Sorry, bro. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, no. His cancer, motherfucker's cancer. He was the Marlboro man, you know. But my dad was funny. He would want us to, you know, he would tell a joke. He had tell jokes all freaking, you know. Yeah. He he was a practical joker. He loved that. He, you know, loved kidding around, joking around. He just, you know, was, you know, very scary, intimidating. He'd show up with a badge and a gun and the power to do stuff to you. <laughs> the and power to do stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> one day, I got to tell a quick story. So one day, we were about 15 years old. You know how when you're 15, you're only hard when you're alone or with someone, right? So, so all the yeah, time. Right. right. <laughs> it's only one two times you think about pussy, but anyway, so uh, it's about four or five of us sitting around joking around doing what fifteen year olds do, and my dad drives up in the squad car, and uh, so everybody immediately kind of tent hut, you know, got a little stiff, you know, and he gets out, he comes over, and he he says, "Boys, I I, I made a business decision today." He says, well, what's that, Mister Harrison? So, well, I bought that old mercantile building there, right by the courthouse, you know. And went, oh. And I, Thinking, my dad the owns old mercantile. My dad owns one of the biggest, oldest, right on Main Street buildings. I'm thinking, what are we gonna? I'm envisioning the inside of it, you know, and I think, what are we gonna do with this place? And he says, we're gonna make it into a, a whorehouse. And <laughs> all my friends immediately are like, so weird. So <laughs> they're well, they're I mean, immediately terrible. bad. Whoring is bad. Well, they're immediately confused because they don't know my dad that well. So he's standing there in uniform as a lawman. Telling us he's going to open up a whorehouse. <laughs> that would be a little confusing. <laughs> that, and, yeah. that and we're fifteen, so it's an uncomfortable conversation as it is with an adult. Yeah. You know, yeah, for sure. So we're, but it, the thought of pussy intrigues us, of course. So we're, oh, you yeah, know, and your boy just, going through the chain. He says, you know, it's a big, big store. Or we're going to need some help. You guys interested in a job? Your dad's a cruel man. We're, I can tell where this we, story's going. We are, <laughs> we are all about it. Uh-huh. We will gladly volunteer. Absolutely. In, in this house of ill repute for you mr harrison we whatever you want he says awesome run it by hand till i get some girls (laughs) so so, you know he's got all these 15 year old boys all interested in this whorehouse we're gonna get some busy (laughs) next thing you know you're giving circle jerks strangers for money (laughs) the next thing you know (laughs) Oh no, circle jerks. <laughs> That's the way he was, though. <laughs> Your dad sounds awesome, and I bet he did have fucking stories. God, oh my god, super smart. But he knew all this historical stuff. He could tell you these these stories of the stuff that happened in the old west and stuff. It was really cool. Real, you know, you'd just be enthralled with the story. He's like, really, you don't know, turn down the music. I want to hear him talk. You know, he just was that kind of storyteller. He knew That's- that. He just knew that much. That's awesome. 
he would be the one that in the in the you know walk into a room of strangers and in the end he'd be the one everybody would be listening to to, to damn talk or whatever you know this is the way he was. <laughs> I would love to be that guy. I just I'm a shitty storyteller. Yeah, I get, you know I've, there are stories there. I just I'm a shitty storyteller. You know, it was his era or time or whatever. You know, he was just I don't know. You know, you out there in the you know he's it's it's 1975. He, he's on Highway 277, this desolate road, a two lane blacktop between. You know, Mexico and, and, and West and desolate, you know, desert in Texas. He's out. He's got a, 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 a old Plymouth. Google with map a, that shit. <laughs> he's got an old Plymouth with a, a bubble gum top and a six shooter, a revolver against, you know, drug dealers that have automatic weapons. And he's he's got a little stop sign in so, front of him. And he's out there. He's out there at 3 a.m. You said he was totally into Westerns and shit. Oh, he loved John Wayne and you know, but he's all that stuff. so he's like that guy. Oh, he was he literally he was, was that guy and riding he, around in the desert. He literally years. he li- no he rode a horse for the border patrol Shut in the, the desert tracking. He could track a man through the desert for days. He was super good at it. I mean, super good at it. Wow, wow. on horseback or you know he could. Oh man. He tell you what you know. I, I let me tell you another quick story. So I get home from boot camp. Story away, bro. Story away. I get home from boot camp and um, I'm all charged up from the military. You know, I'm all you know. And, Were you uh, swole? I was all swole up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just did push ups for fucking six weeks. <laughs> yeah. So, so it was a cold war. We ate communists. You know what did I say? So. We we get up in the morning. He goes and gets dressed, and by this time he's a senior agent, you know. And and we get he gets dressed. And he comes back to the house, and we're sitting there, and he's watching John Wayne movies. And we're we like doing nothing. He's on the clock, and I'm like, he's in government jobs, and I'm teasing him, poking him once in a while, you know, and uh, about not doing nothing, just sitting at home, getting paid to watch John Wayne movies. <clears throat> so. Morning, what is wrong with that, though, by the way? Well, nothing, but... My grandma says, made me watch John Wayne movies God, growing up. John God, Wayne movies are fucking fantastic. Get paid to watch TV. God bless the USA. Fuck yeah. So, he's, we, that morning, we, we, he said, come on, we'll go take a ride. So, we jump in the G-Ride. And, uh, the G-Ride. And it's the blacked out Oldsmobile. We made dope deals in, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he made dope deals for tons. If you had a bag of weed, like a, a, a pound, he didn't give a fuck. Yeah, puff away, kid. He wanted, yeah, I, 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 if you I had, had bigger fish to fry. If you had 2,000 pounds, yeah, you know. A ton of now weed. Now he wants you and your boss. And anyway. A ton so of So, he found, he's got stories. So, uh, where was I at with this story? Which I think I fucked you up. I got sidetracked. I'm trying to remember which story I was talking about. Let me have a swig of beer. And maybe swig of beer, shit. That, that'll now I feel terrible. I was memory. actually, I'm like enthralled in this we story. Roll, we wind the tape. So which, God, I've so many stories. Awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that probably I didn't do, help at all. I do not remember. Oh, fuck. What was I? You want me to rewind it? We'll have to stop right now and rewind. (laughs) My dad uh, Uh, riding horses between uh, Highway two seventy seven between Mexico. Yeah, yeah. uh, He's he stood out there, shithole Texas, by himself on the highway with a little stop sign and a six shooter and a bubblegum cop car, stopping people and and seeing if they're running drugs or or people. You know, he you know would be smuggling people and wet you know, coyotes or whatever, and smuggling uh, illegal aliens. human trafficking or just uh, yeah. just trying to get people over the border. They would do all sorts of stuff. You know, they they pay a lot of money. They come a long ways, and these coyotes are ruthless. And they, you know, along the way, these people get taken advantage of in all kinds of ways that you don't even want to know. And so it's it's you know all for a better life in America. And that's the true measure of a country is how many people want in versus how many people want out. Well, granted that people so, probably do want into America. They do, but the thing of it is to me, and we're, they're making, the, the United they, States is the most generous as far as immigration. We're the most generous. We're the only country in the world that will give you naturalized citizenship. We'll give you citizenship. We're the only one in the world that do that. So we're very unique in that way. And, and uh, But come here legally, and we got no problem with you. It's the illegal part that is costing this country a hundred over over $100 billion a year. Oh, easily. You know, so I think Alaska spends something like $93 million or something. It's crazy. Alaska. And you're going, on we have an immigration <laughs> problem in Alaska? What is the Canadians, like, pouring over the border? I didn't, last time I checked, they were pretty happy over there, you know? No, we, it, we get, um, 
they have free health care, right? Like refugees and everything like that, they, they place them, and we are one of the... We, the Veterans Party spoke out against that, yes. We, I don't want to say one of the top, but I know we do get our fair share. O- Obama, Obama, put, uh, yeah, and uh, Bill Walker, Governor Walker, and then the people that actually made it happen was the... Uh, uh, Governor Catholic, fucking Walker. The Catholic Social Services. Really? Actually, yes, sir. Yes, Catholic sir. Social Services? Yes, sir. Are they trying to convert... They're, Refugees they're just the vehicle. They, yeah. they're just, they're just a lot. Of, churches are used for a lot of things. My yeah, brother. they are. And a lot of it is nefarious and kind of scary and sad, actually. How many people have been murdered in God's name? That's and God said, "Don't kill you people." Damn. No, and it's uh, wow. So, yeah, most you could attribute a lot of deaths to that for yes, sure. Yes, no more war, you fuckers. Stop that shit. <laughs> Do what you're gonna do. Leave me if, the fuck out of it. I'm gonna drink out of this. Although there skull. are there are some people that deserve to die. I gotta tell I, you, you know. I, I mean, really you know. just I'm kind of apathetic to that whole thing. like war or no war. Well, you know, part of me is like war is bad, war is terrible. And the other part of me, sadly, and this is probably a character flaw that yeah. may not be able to be fixed. We could probably use less people. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, there is a. So I'll see, I'll see what if there was like a maybe a plague. If if someone just say, not the rapture necessarily because I don't want to I don't want to go uh-huh. fucking well uh-huh. the plague that's a good idea we could have a plague but yeah basically if you're too weak to just survive a, a good you, old fashioned you, you fucking die ring around the rosy Be, and I think that would solve a lot of the problems we have yeah. It really would. The population except, is out of fucking control. Except for the landfill problem. <laughs> that, that, yeah. That'd get, well, no, the landfill problem would even go down, too, because there's not as many people creating trash. Well, we won't I need just, as many cars. But the people we won't would need be, as much gas. Think about it, dude. The people would be in the trash. Be Watch like a Bill giant Burr. mound of people. I guess you're right. Watch in, Bill in, Burr. He is the, one of the... Well, he's like 85% of you got to go. You're right. In the long run, it would cut down on the all, you know consumption of, the ma- of natural resources and, and, and uh, the production of... Garbage and yeah, I see that. It really would, because it's no longer the survival of the fittest. It hasn't been for I, centuries. I, I was in my mind what I was picturing is what they do in a, in a when a famine or any time a war zone where there's a lot of bodies like that. They take a, a tractor and they open up a big swath of earth and then they just put all you know in a mass grave and they cover them up because yeah, they, no, oh, after yeah. after a day or two you know you have to do that. It sounds inhumane or whatever. You know. And there are war criminals covering up crimes, of course, like that. But but it's also done other times for humanitarian reasons because you know the the people that are living will get dysentery. And, yeah, it'll cause know, sickness all, and death. It'll, and it'll actually be its own plague. Oh yeah, know. all yeah. kinds of. You'll have more problems than just the plague if you let those yeah. bodies, you know, stay out there and, and contaminate everything. You know, yeah. so so uh, that's that's what I was picturing in my mind, but. I guess I'm kind of anti-war. I'm a, I'm a soldier. I'm a veteran. So nobody, you know, we bear the scars of the war. So that's why we hate it the most. Yeah. I think it's a quote yeah. by Douglas MacArthur. He said something like that. So, but old Jen Mack was a, a badass. Who? General, oh, Jen Mack. General, 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 General MacArthur. Yeah. 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 He's sorry about that, Jen Mack. You cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we cool like that, right? Jen <laughs> Mack. I didn't even don't realize pull, he had a tag, like a handle. Don't pull rank that's on me. Awesome. Yeah, General awesome. Patton, you know, so you wouldn't want to stand in front of General Patton. God, that guy would make you, I mean, just, I mean, this guy had the look of command, did he not? I mean, he just would scare the shit out of you just looking at you, you yeah. know, if you were. I'm not, like, you're not even being in the military, like, the were, guy would give me the, just, I'd be intimidated. If, if you were a yeah. private in the United States, yeah, and you're just blamed up against a tree resting, and all of a sudden this three-star general just, with these eyes that'll, you know, melt he, diamonds. He pierces <laughs> through and laser cuts your <laughs> yeah, soul. Yeah. You're like, eh. He sees everything you've ever done. You know, don't try to lie to me. Why did you shape my soul so, like the donkey? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, Patton quoted, "He's a he hated the Democrats. He said they were the lowest or, politicians were the lowest form of people on earth, and the Democrats were the lowest form of politicians." I think it's a, is that a quote? Yeah, from General Patton. Wow. So we were you, the lowest form, and then we're just going to a sub level. There's a sub level <laughs> of sub politicians level to how low known you're as the Democrats. Bullshit. Yeah, and uh, they have been infected with the donkey virus. The <laughs> that that's according to Jen Jen General uh, Pat, Jen Pat. So I'm put the needle on the record. What do you think? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do some outro music here. That's right. I'm gonna give a shout out. Shout out to a couple shout outs. AFC. 
Oh, Alaska Fighting Championship. My girl Sarah Lormore. Who the fight? Just kicking ass. Are we going to the fights this month? Yeah. I'm hoping yeah. so. Let's AFC go. 136. going to be January 17th, Get 2018. your tickets. Get your tickets. At the Alaska Airlines Center. Parking is free. Great venue. And if you can't make it, check them out on UFC Fight Pass. I didn't get to hear my needle on the record, so my outro music is going to go a little longer. Is it coming up? Do you remember the song well enough? Is this it? AFC, UFC, Fight Pass. If you can find them on there, or if you get it, you'll find them on there. Uh, no, I got to find my needle on the record line, man. We talked about it. Just got to find it. AlaskaFighting.com, AFC. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Your promo got a little... Uh, I got to hear my needle on the record. We talked about it earlier. We downloaded the video. I just <laughs> He's stuck on it now. It's just in his I think head. It's, is it in here? I got to, I got at, to at hear At some it. point in that song... If it makes you feel any better, the show would have been over like three minutes ago because I just want to find this. I'm going to give a shout out also to Capo's Alaskan Beard Oil. Got my boy Adam. Oh, here it is. Uh, Capo'sBeardOil.com. Uh, get you some. Yeah. Do it. Uh. Pump up the volume. Pump dance, up the volume. Dance dance, dance. dance. God damn it. It wasn't the needle on the record part. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> check out Capo Facebook. I just hate it when the artists don't cooperate. At Capo's uh, Let's see. AFC. I know Sarah's on Facebook. That girl's on Facebook. You can look up AFC Sarah. You can look up AlaskaFighting.com or AlaskaFighting at AlaskaFighting. Anyway, sorry. Get your tickets. Get your oil. Get your tickets. Get your oil and get L- the fuck Like and here. subscribe to Breakface. Or else. And join us next episode. When we have a special guest, yeah, it's, super it's special. Possible. It's possible. It's not possible. No, no, no. So, put the needle on the record. Here, oh, here it is. Oh. What did you look up the words to the song? <laughs> there it is. Break Perfect. Face. Love you guys. Perfect. Bye. Oh, my face. <laughs>